giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Bahashim, Rakadash, the Blind, the the Elders, DMS, Salutations, Shah the Akim out there that's switching this truth. Also, Shalom to the rest of the hopeful elect. And, um, quick lesson, real quick, uh, probably gonna t title it Amazon, uh, rolling out the mark of the beast or pushing the mark of the beast. But, uh, let's go ahead and play this video real quick. Over Apple Pay, Amazon is trying to muscle its way into your digital wallet. Amazon is ramping up its contactless payment system nationwide that works by scanning the palm of your hand right there. Kiddo takes it for a test drive. So the new payment systems have been rolling out across the country for the past year. Finally, here in the Bay Area, we get our very first one and it launched this morning. You really gotta hand it to Amazon. Will you be paying with your palm today? For trying to put the future of payments right in the palm of your, you know. Right there, perfect. It's called Amazon One, a new contactless payment system that launched for the first time in Northern California at their store in Santana Row. To sign up, first insert a credit card and then hold your hand over the special camera. It'll scan the lines, ridges, and even pattern of veins inside your hand. The algorithm then creates a unique palm signal Signature. The whole process takes about a minute. Well, you can just hold your hand right over it. Tommy, alas, was the first person in the Bay Area to sign up. Uh, what'd you think? Uh, I think it was really cool, very convenient uh, form of payment, just quick and easy. Liz Gonzalez thinks the new technology could come in handy. That was easy. Yeah. There you go. People like me, I'm very forgetful. <laughs> I always forget my credit card or my watch, and now I don't need to remember to bring my palm. <laughs> If anyone can get this popular, it'll be Amazon. Ian Schur with CNET says all signs point to this new... T hey, so as you can see, hey, uh, Esau is uh, rolling this thing out, man. This thing is being pushed fast. You know, uh, war is being pushed in the earth. Uh, a lot of judgment going on. Things are happening, all right, throughout the earth, all right? The uh, prophecies is uh, being fulfilled. Oh, me, let's grab a scripture real quick. Let's grab. Uh, so like, yeah. Let's grab Second Nazareth, the sixteenth chapter, real quick. Let's do that. So like, yeah. Okay. I start 16 and 35 says here now these things understand them ye servants of the Lord and who's the servants the prophets and it says believe the word believe the word of the Lord receive it believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake all right now who will be the God that, that, that the Lord is talking about or 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 what applies to, to now the so-called white man all right it is written in uh let's say, I think it's the book of Corinthians. Say if our gospel are hid, it is hid to them that are lost, because the God of this world hath what blinded them, man. And a lot of people they're gonna take this thing blindly, all right? They're gonna receive this thing blindly, all right, and get judged, man. All right. You you that that uh uh take that chip, okay, according to Revelations nineteen chapter, you're gonna be nuked. All right, you're gonna be put to death in these last days. All right, when you read it, it says uh, he cast a uh, false prophet, and them that uh, and them that received the mark of the beast into the lake of fire. You see, it says, "Behold, the plagues draw nigh, and and are not slacked." All right, you see, so the plagues is not slacking; things are speeding up. All right, it says as when a woman with a child. In the ninth month, bringeth forth her son within two or three hours, her great pains could pass her womb. And we still in those pains, all right? Before something eventually pops off, man, all right? Or when all hell breaks out. It says, which pains, the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Even so shall not the plagues be slack. To come upon the earth and the world shall mourn 
and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. You see? So things are being sped up, all right? And when this thing pop off, man, all right, it's going to be, um, you know, great, great tribulation, you know, as the scriptures say, all right? Now, where can you find this prophecy at? Matter of fact, let's grab this right here, all right? No, we, we go back. We go to Revelations, all right? Revelations, fuck yeah, Revelations 13. And if you've seen the people, right, they was all happy about it, you know? But what does the scripture say? Uh, I think it's in that same chapter 19. It says what? He deceived them on what? He, he deceived them and what? Taking the mark of the beast, you see? So, so, so basically these people, you know, they're going to fall for the okie doke. Let's try to get right to the point, okay? And the chip is the mark of the beast. And if you're not teaching that or pushing that, man, you're a false prophet, okay? So you camps that's not pushing it, all right? You're, you're going to be destroyed, man. So you need to, uh, you know, get get start singing the same song, get on get on tune. Uh, Revelations, uh, thirteen to fifteen. Uh, all right, let's start from 16. Matter of fact, no, let's go from 15. And he had power to give life into the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak. All right, and that's, hey, that's going on right now, all right? That it, it, it's speaking, okay? It says, and cause as, as many would not worship, the image of the beast should be killed. So look, you come in into a time, right? That them that don't take it, all right? All right, they're, they're going to be what? Killed, man. All right. Let me see something real quick. Another word. All right. It says right here, kill outright, you know? Just like if you've seen some of those ones, it's just, uh, I can't think of the name. Matter of fact, the movie called Rumors of Wars, right? And... People that, that wasn't down with the program, you know, they they was being executed, you know. And it's a movie, and it's based off the Bible, all right. It's based off the Mark of the Beast. And the cause of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or their foreheads, right? So eventually, uh, matter of fact, what's that guy, Elon, right? He's uh doing the doing the chip forehead thing, you know. But I think most people are gonna uh take it in their right hand, all right. And people that got like uh illnesses or uh or uh you know messed up ligaments, all right, they're gonna take it in their forehead, you know. <clears throat> or people that that that's missing limbs, you know, got a foot blew off and. Esau gave him gave him a, a, a fake foot, okay. Cause he he's gonna you know do these uh fake fake miracles, man, in these last days, like the scripture says, of uh, Satan has a uh, transformed into an angel of light, so he's gonna do these fake fake miracles, man. All right, have everybody thinking. All right, this is this is the way. All right, especially um, when, when, when times get evil, man, when there's no food, you know, or, or, or water, okay, or when people can't can't go shopping or uh, watch watch uh, uh, watch your Netflix, you know. This man is really about to lock down this uh, society, man. It says, uh, because of all both small and great, rich, and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that hath the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his, of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath the understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man, and his, and his number is six hundred. And three score, six. All right, and that's six, six, six. All right. Now let's go. Hold on to Revelation real quick.
think it's really think it's the three and sixteen. There we go. Hold on. Revelations uh three and ten. He said it says because thou hast kept my word. Matter of fact, yeah, this is it. Because thou hast kept my word, of, the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of of temptation. That's the Lord talking to the men of the Lord. Okay, it says which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. All right. And hey, we just seen seen that some people are just gonna take it willingly, but you're gonna have a lot of people that's gonna fight against it, man. Okay, it's gonna come up against it. Okay, and, and guess what? They, 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 they're gonna die. All right, because it's written in the um, book of Revelation. Said what? Who should make war against the beast, man? And and the beast is is uh, raging right now. You know. He's ready to come down on this place. Let's grab one more t scripture, man. All right, because that, like, it's written, hey, the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Let's start from four. In fact, let's start from three. Uh, First Thessalonians 3 and 5 says that no man should be moved by these afflictions. For yourselves know that we are appointed there too, all right? So the hell we cast through our day-to-day -day life, but also the upcoming hell, all right? The uh, persecution, all right? The famines, all right? The the uh, wars, man, all right? You, you should not be moved. It says, for verily, when we were with you, we told you before that you should suffer tri tribulation, all right? And that's coming. Even as it should come to pass, ye know. For this cause, when I could no longer forbear, I sent to you to know your faith. Least by any means the tempter have tempted you. And that's what's coming, all right? The tempter is about to tempt, man. All right? Like it was just saying in, um, in, in the book of Revelations, man. All right? He's going to what? Try the world to check out the word tempted. All right, it says to try whether a thing can be done. A meaning too, it says to try, make trial or test a purpose of a searching his quantity or what he thinks or how he will behave himself. And they good basically to try you, man, test your character. All right. Let's go down a little bit further. It says... After the Old Testament use, it says of God to inflict evils upon one in order to prove his character and steadfastness of his faith. Men are said to tempt Yahweh by his exhibitions of distrust, as though they wish to try whether he is not justly distrusted. Uh, it says by impious or wicked conduct to test God's justice and patience to challenge him as it were, to give proof of his perfections. All right, but basically what? To him to uh, try you, man. Well, right here it says, what? Scrutinize you, all right? But the, the second meaning was cool. You know, it says to inflict evils, one, in order to prove his character and steadfastness of the faith. All right, that's the Lord trying you, man. All right, putting you, putting you through the fire. It says, in our labor be... In vain, man. Okay. So, hey, with that, hey, I'm going to give all praise and glory to you. How about Shah Rashad? By Shah Rashad? Double honor to the L's of GMS. Salutations. I came out there that's pushing this truth. Also, Shalom to the rest of the hopeful elect. Peace.